friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to yet another episode here on Life Signatures Radio, episode number 1552. We are talking about disillusionment. We've been at it for quite a while now, actually. We started maybe kind of seven episodes back talking about what disillusionment is, especially for those people who are in their purpose pursuits. And then we started narrowing down into some of the reasons as to why you would get disillusioned when you are on your purpose pursuit and just checking them off one by one and seeing what are the things that we can be able to do as remedies for those pieces of disillusionment in our lives. Today we are going to look at one more area, one more reason as to why you will be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit and uh, in the process we'll also learn what we can do to rectify that, what we can do to circumnavigate it. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In our recap, we've already done three reasons as to why you will be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit. Reason number one is that probably you are immature. And I keep repeating when I mention that, I'm not saying it's an insult. I'm just saying that we have not been patient enough. Timing has not appeared yet. Maturity has not been taken into consideration. We're still immature and yet we're expecting to get results from our purpose pursuit. And when the results are not coming, we become disillusioned. So probably you are immature. That's reason number one. Number two, we talked about this for quite a while, maybe three episodes in there. And we say that the reason as to why you are feeling disillusioned, this is a big one, is because you probably are not being appreciated for what you're doing. You don't feel any kind of appreciation for the works that you're putting in and people are ignoring you and so on. And we gave you some five ways in yesterday's episode, some five ways to circumnavigate that feeling of not being appreciated. Today in the episode, I want us to look at the third reason as to why you will be disillusioned in your purpose pursuit. If at all, it doesn't make sense to you that maybe you are not mature. Maybe you're feeling like, but I'm mature. And then uh, secondly, you're feeling like, no, I'm being appreciated. But then you still feel disillusioned. Number three, chances are that you are just plain old tired. I'm going to tell you an example. There is uh, a story of this guy in the Bible. It's called Elijah. Actually, even before I can go to Elijah, let me go to the guy called Isaac. Isaac calls his sons, okay, his son, actually, his eldest son called Esau, and tells him, go and get me some of the game from the field, uh, because Esau was a hunter, and make me some nice meal, a nice soup, and let me take it, therefore I can give you a blessing, because I feel like I'm just about to die. Well, you know the debacle that happened and so on, Esau's mother connives with the brother Jacob and Jacob goes and gets a a sheep and slaughters that sheep and the mother prepares the soup and the blessing ends up being on Jacob and not on Esau. But that's not the point that I'm sharing. The point is that 
Isaac, the guy who thought he was going to die, didn't. He died 20 years later, if I get my facts correctly. Probably the guy was just tired. He was just disillusioned with life at that moment in time. Now, the other guy that I was talking about was... Um, there's this another guy in the Bible that uh, who was also disillusioned. Elijah goes and he, he, he kind of challenges false prophets and says that uh, the guy let us uh, sacrifice to our gods and the God who answers by fire, that's the God. And then the other guys goes fast and they do their antics for a whole hour two hours, three hours, nearly half a day, nothing happens. And then he says, okay, it's now my turn. And fire comes down and so on. And then he says, kill all the prophets, all the false prophets. And he kills 450. He kills 450. And then he says, rain is going to come. And then rain comes and it shines. And I mean, rain comes and it pours for the first time in three years. And uh, Elijah outruns power of God comes over him and he outruns the, the chariot of the king. Now, shortly after, when the king's wife called Jezebel, hears what Elijah has done to her prophets, she says, by this time tomorrow you'll be dead. What happens? Elijah runs away. He runs away and hides. And then he, he, starts saying, he starts saying that I'm the only one left. God kill me. He was just tired. He was just exhausted. He was feeling disillusioned because of the work that he'd been doing. And he was absolutely plain old tired. Tiredness has a way of misconstruing our thoughts. Misconstruing our projections of the future. When you're going through a rough patch, especially when your body is not feeling well, you can easily feel like overwhelmed, you feel like discouraged, and then you feel disillusioned with the purpose that you've been doing. You've been at it for long. And some of you who are purpose visionaries and so on, you do not know how to rest. You think that if you go to rest, you know, you'll be overtaken and your work is not going to, to happen. And I'm speaking to myself. You don't know how to rest. And so you work from January to December. No rest whatsoever. Monday to Sunday, you're working. You're podcasting every single day. Huh? And then you feel disillusioned. Chances are that the disillusionment you're feeling is just plain old tiredness body soul spirit and mind all these are faculties of our lives that are living and they're active and they are also vulnerable if you do not take care of our bodies if we don't take care of our spirits our minds our soul they will disintegrate increasingly we are learning many things about mental health of this recent past than any other generation before us we're learning a lot about mental health it is so critical in our lives. Disillusionment with life might come to us because at times we are just tired. Physically tired. Spiritually tired. Mentally tired. Emotionally tired. Or maybe in a worst case scenario it's just a combination of all that stuff. You are tired physically. You are tired spiritually, you are tired emotionally, you are tired mentally, you are just tired. Let me tell you, in that state, it is easy for you to get this illusion. Why? Because there is so much of your purpose to deploy and you need it deployed and then you are in the parking mode. You are in what my friend calls a holding pattern. You ain't moving. And this one makes you to get bogged down with disillusionment it is therefore critically important to understand when to rest when to let go when to walk away from your work at least temporarily it is prudent for you to get a new environment it is prudent for you to get refreshed refired and that takes a process. We need to come to the level where we learn that rest is as much an important a command as work. It is that critical. If you don't rest, you get this 
illusioned in your life. I've told you about Isaac and how he was disillusioned. <laughs> he was partially blind and so on, but the guy ended up living more years than he had envisioned he was going to live. After the debacle where the second born, with the help of his mother, stole the firstborn's blessings, Isaac lived another two or so decades before he died. So feelings of disillusionment can cause us to make pathetic decisions in our lives and all we need to do is to take some time off. Just chill out a little bit. Take some time off of our purpose pursuit and just get rest, get refreshed and recuperate. Gain a new and a fresh perspective of life and you know be able to handle this disillusionment better it is a feeling that could either be valid or it could not this disillusionment i'm talking about so what do you do you know what to do slow down take a vacation you know a vacation gives you an opportunity to have a great reboot it is if if done well by the way it is one of those most critical life-giving aspects of life. Not only will you rest from tiredness, but you'll also benefit quite a bit from the change of scenery. This is a very therapeutic move that you can be able to make. So when you're feeling disillusionment, take a vacation. Chances are that you will come back in a fresher perspective having handled the disillusionment well. Some people have been at their purpose pursuit for years on end without even a single week of rest. They feel like it's a massive, you know, letdown if they take a week off. That's akin to machines, by the way, in an assembly line. They are able to keep going and going and going repetitively without resting. But you are not a machine. You need rest. You are using flesh and blood. You're not using electricity. You're not, you're not using fuel. When your purpose pursuit becomes that repetitive without a break, like a, a machine, you are a prime candidate for being disillusioned. You get bored with it. It's no longer interesting. At some point, it just it's a rot. It, it's just... You don't like it anymore. This maturity that I'm talking about is when you can be able to let go of your work and get some rest. Start doing it. Start recouping some energies. So if you're looking around you and you feel like there is nothing coming out, probably you need to take some time and just just rest. The disillusionment you're feeling at the moment could be very well as a result of just being tired. So, if maybe today's episode doesn't make sense about tiredness and you're still disillusioned one way or another in your life, we are going to help you in the next episode when we're talking about another reason as to why I think you might be disillusioned. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.